Let it go. Um, my doctor says that I've been neglecting my own care, focusing so much on Ava. You were right. Didn't turn out as bad as I thought it would. I'm not gonna die. Well, I am, but not... We all are, is the point. Not, yeah. yeah. You know, I read somewhere that people with positive attitudes can actually make positive things happen to them. So, you got a, a good health report, right? Maybe Alan's visions, whether they're real or not. Maybe they had something to do with that. I don't know if you're the most naive person I've ever met or the most annoying. I'm I can't just decide. saying the pills and the exercise and eating all your veggies and all that stuff, that's all well and good. But having little faith never hurt anybody. Except for you if you keep bugging me with um, this. Hey. Hey. Natalia, um, I'm sorry. I, I just saw Ray. How is he? Well, he's okay. No thanks to me. Well, it's not your fault. Well, I made you a promise. I told you that when Rafe came back that I would try to keep the charges to a minimum, but... And uh, I know you're working really hard. Yeah, well, Doris had me removed from the case. And it's going to take a lot of convincing to get her to change her mind. It's okay. I'm okay. My son's in good hands. That's all I need to know. Naive, maybe. Yes, but whatever gets you through the day, right? How does she do it? Do what? Well, don't tell me you don't envy that. Natalia, I, I actually feel sorry for her. Why? Why? Because one day she's going to wake up and all this faith and hope and charity she's preaching, she's going to realize it's just a cruel cosmic joke. What is that? It's uh, from Ava's clinic. And uh, I'm going to need you to make this decision because I'm the last person who should be making it. I didn't think that I could see Rafe until tomorrow. Yeah. Right now? Yes. Of course. No, I, I will be right there. I'm on my way right now. The doctors assured me that this is the best form of treatment for her. Yeah, um, uh, it just seems like a lot of uh, legal mumbo jumbo to me. I mean, <laughs> Laurie, you want to explain to me why you need my help? Well, it's, you know, it's not the form. The form is pretty standard. It's the, uh, it's the decision part, you know, how I made the decision to send Ava away and then the Max. It wasn't your fault. And Jeffrey. then I told... I told Natalia that Rafe would be safe when he came back, and look where he is now. That's not your fault. And I lost the Foley case for Cassie and for Tammy, and Alan is probably going to slide off. Okay, so. stop. Okay. Stop. Yeah. No. Just sign no, it, please. No, you have power of attorney. You. Well, that was a mistake on Ava's oh, part. Oh, no. Stop. stop. What are you stop, doing? Stop, stop, Don't. Stop, 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 stop. This is what it takes to show you're actually a good father. There. What? What do you know about it? What do I know? I know that you stood by our daughter when she was hurting. I know that you s sent her away, even though I, it killed you to do it. I know that you'll do everything you can to help Wraith, even though he shot you and nearly killed you. And don't get me started on Tammy Winslow. I mean, the way you fight for her and for Cassie, like she's your own daughter. So let me tell you something. I may not know what I'm talking about, but you're a family man. Because if you aren't, I don't know who is. Um, I'll have them refax this. Are you eating enough? Yeah. Your sugar's normal? Yeah, I'm fine. 
You have every right to feel betrayed. Because I did call Mallet and I did ask him to bring you in. But I did that because I wanted you to be safe. You do? I overheard some of the officers talking about it and, you know, whoever did or whoever said whatever they said. I know it, it couldn't have been you. I'm so sorry it had to be this way. I right, stop. I think that everything is going to be fine. And, you know, you're just going to have to believe me. There's something I have to tell you about your grandfather. Um, they found a blockage in his brain. I just saw him the other day. I know, and he looks fine, right? Yeah. Was he talking about your father? I mean, yeah, he was talking about, you know, he's having the visions and... He still sees guys, yeah. Well, they think that it, it all might be a symptom. Uh, it's, it's not real. That's one way to look at it, but I choose to believe that no matter what, you know, your father's always gonna be looking out for us. And I really hope that you believe that too. I guess I really don't know what to believe, but, um, no, um, I'll try.